What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Angels Travel and Ravel. So in this episode, we're uh, doing another special episode of Griddle Time. So tonight, we're making Asian style barbecue chicken breasts on the grill. We use some uh, Asian style uh, chicken seasoning, a uh, little marinade. Uh, we had the chicken marinating for a good day or two. Uh, we're really looking forward to uh, putting it on the Blackstone griddle, cooking the grilled chicken breasts, and um, we also have some broccoli on the side that we're going to be, um, even though it's in a bag that says steam only, uh, we're going to put it on the Blackstone griddle and just see how it works out. And then we got some mac and cheese that we're going to make too, but that'll be inside. We can't do that on the Blackstone griddle. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Take a look at this, and uh, this is my second meal on the Blackstone griddle. So first things first, we've got to oil it up. It's a little too hot and we don't have heat resistant gloves so we want to use this tonsil. So I was always told you cook with high heat. No matter what happens you cook with high heat unless otherwise stated if you need to cool off and put some stuff to the side. You know what they say, if it ain't sizzling, it ain't griddling. You know what's really cool about this is we have our really, really cool rear grease management system. I love it. You know it's such a big tease about cooking in the backyard, right? We got the griddle going, but I got my pool back there. And for some reason, it refuses to get clear no matter what I do. I mean, just to take a break while the chicken's cooking over there. It just refuses. I've had the filter running for like four days straight. If anyone has any tips on how to clear that up, I've dumped every chemical known to man imaginable to get it cleared up, but nothing yet. Hopefully soon. We're running for a couple more days and we'll see what happens. So now that the chicken is finally done, we're gonna put a finishing touch and add one more layer of that Asian barbecue sauce I showed you guys earlier. Grab it on. Don't be shy about it.
There it is. Don't forget that when you're done cooking with the Blackstone griddle, no matter what meal you're having, you want to put another layer of oil. Okay, oil pretty much heals it and keeps it nice and ready for the next time you grow up. It's that other coating, that other layer on it. Uh, I learned by looking on YouTube that you can just keep using canola oil. You don't need to use any flaxseed oil or any of that expensive stuff. So I'm going to put another layer down of oil. And then we will close out the grill.